वंदे गुरुपद दंदम भक्त बिंद समित श्री चैतन्य प्रभु वंदे नितानंद सहोदित श्री नंद नंद नंग वंदे राधिका चरणोदय गोपीजन सामुक्त बिंदा मनोहर बांशाकुवश की पा सिंधु पतितान पावने वैष्णवभ्यो नमो नम मुकोतिचाल पंगुंगल हरतिगिरी यत्तम वंदे परमाधव बिंदा वै तुलसीदेवै पिया वै केशवस्वक्तिपदे देवी सत्वत्वी नमो नम नारायण नमस्कृत नरचनोत्तम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथो जयो मुदीर संकर्तने कृष्ण कथोपदेश गौरीपत्रोपकाशनी च सदाक्त गुरुभक्ति भक्ति प्रमदाक्ष जगोदर ध्येय सदा परिभवनमीषदूहम तीर्थास्पद शिव विरंजन तम शरण्य भीताहम पनुतपालभवादिभूत वंदे महापुरुषते चरणारिंद यत्दपल्लवनकचंदमनी छटाए विस्फुजीत किमुस्वदर्श पूर्णाग्रसागर सारूर्ति साराधि कामयी कदा काम करीकृष्णचैतन्य प्रभुनिंद श्रीयादगदाधर शिव सदी गौरभक्तविंद श्रीकृष्णचैतन्य प्रभुनिंद श्रीयादगदाधर शिव सदी गौरभक्तविंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे आजानुलंबित भुजो कनका बुदा तो संकीर्तनय कवितर कमलायताक्ष विशाबर दिजवर युगधर्म पाल वंदे जगत्प्रियक करुणा भतारो हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे आजानुलंबित भुज कनका बदा तो संकीर्तन कपितर कमलायताक्ष विशाबर दिजर युगधर्म पाल वंदे जगत्प्रियक करुणा भतारो हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे नमा गंगे तब पाद पंकज सुरासुरबंदी तो दिव्य रूप भुक्ति मुक्ति तदाशिनीत्र भावाण सदनराण गंगातरंगरमणीय जटा कलापम गौरी निरंतर विभूषि तवाम भाग नारायण प्रिय मनंग मदापहारम वरानसी पुरपति भज विश्वनाथ 
શ્રીશીલ ભક્તિ સિદ્ધાંત સરસ્વતી ગોસ્વામી ઠાકુર પ્રભુપાદ પરમસ જગદગુરુ ટોલ્ડ દેટ હરિભજન હરિકથા ઇન ધ નેમ ઓફ હરિભજન એન્ડ હરિકથા those who are in this whole material world they are just giving them the negative direction these people in front of them when you will go in order to get their association then definitely we will get into the fallen condition this kind of pathway which we are following then definitely we will get fall down because we want to we want to want to get because they want to get fallen down that's why they are getting fallen no nothing to do in that ગૌડીય ગોષ્ઠીપતિ શ્રી શીલા ભક્તિ સિદ્ધાંત સરસ્વતી ગોસ્વામી ઠાકુર પ્રભુપાદ પરમહંસ જગતગુરુ ટોલ્ડ દેટ ઇન ધ નેમ ઓફ હરિ કરથા કથા એન્ડ હરિ કીર્તન ધોઝ પીપલ હુ આર એકચુઅલી જસ્ટ ગિવિંગ દેમ ધ નેગેટિવ ડાયરેક્શન ધ હોલ મટીરિયલ વર્લ્ડ એસ્પેશલી ધીઝ પીપલ આર એકચુઅલી ગેટિંગ ધ વેલ્યુ ઇન ધીસ મટીરિયલ વર્લ્ડ એન્ડ ધ નોર્મલ પર્સન્સ દે આર એકચુઅલી ગોઈંગ ટુ દેમ એન્ડ દે એકચુઅલી વોન્ટ ટુ ગેટ ઇન ટુ દેટ ફોલન કન્ડિશન દેટ ઇઝ ધ એકચુઅલ રૂલ્સ નાઉ they are getting this in practice now where where that where, where was to object you are not getting that desire you are getting to get that object from there that is the actual arrangement of maya devi or, or it is nothing else bhagwan who will uh, bhagwan will attract whom bhagwan everyone is actually is doing bhajan that is not at all possible who will actually bhagwan will attract him propa ji speaking that nandanandan shri krishna is swayam bhagwan and this krishna vastu it is actually attracting all the three material worlds and those who are krishna prashta shri guru pad padma and vaishnav is there that is the actually the uh, attractive shakti of power of krishna that gurudev is actually by his own uh, serving attitude he is just attracting krishna charan towards himself and that uh, krishna ગુરુ પાદ પદ્મ ઇઝ ધ એટ્રેક્ટિવ પાવર ઓફ કૃષ્ણ બટ દેટ એકચુઅલ વસ્તુ ટુ જસ્ટ અટ્રેક દેટ દેટ પરાત પર અખિલેશ્વર સચિદાનંદ વિગ્રહ શ્રી કૃષ્ણ ઇઝ ગેટિંગ એટ્રેક્ટેડ બાય ગુરુદેવ દેટ ઇઝ ધ એકચુઅલ આકર્ષક હી ઇઝ ધ ઓલ એટ્રેક્શન ટુ એવરી વન એન્ડ હુ વિલ એકચુઅલી ગેટ એટ્રેક્ટેડ બાય દેટ વસ્તુ વી જસ્ટ નીડ ટુ અન્ડરસ્ટેન્ડ દેટ બિકોઝ it is just like a magnet one one magnet is there like magnet if you will just put some iron iron piece in front of it definitely naturally that will attracted by the magnet when uh, in front of the magnet if the iron is actually kept in front of it then definitely he will naturally get attracted to the magnet because but if something that wooden piece wooden piece will not get attracted to magnet aluminium it is not getting attracted at all in the similar manner bhagwan is actually is uh, attracting everyone that is the actual will of krishna but but uh, the persons are not getting attracted the jivas are not getting attracted because the jivas that actual swarup of jivas it is actually covered by that fine form of maya devi because there are two coverings fine body and subtle body and it is just making together a very 
टाइट बॉन्डेज वन इज सब्टल सब्टल बॉडी ग्रॉस बॉडी एंड वन इज कॉल्ड द फाइन बॉडी फाइन बॉडी सब्टल बॉडी एंड फाइन बॉडी टूगेदर बोथ ऑफ दैम जीव इज एक्चुअली इन बॉन्डेड बॉन्डेड कंडीशन एंड इन दिस कंडीशन जीव इज देयर इन द मटीरियल बॉन्डेज कंडीशन सो दैट्स वाई भगवान श्री कृष्णा ही इज नॉट गेटिंग अट्रैक्टेड टू हिम दैट्स वाई मटीरियल जीव इज नॉट एट ऑल रियलाइजिंग दिस पॉइंट बिकॉज द कवरिंग इज देयर ऑन हिम लाइक ऑन द आयरन पीस देर इज वन कवरिंग ऑफ फेरिक ऑक्साइड रस्टिंग इज देयर ऑन द आयरन पीस फेरिक ऑक्साइड लेयर इज देयर दैट इज वी कॉल्ड रस्ट सो रस्टिंग लेयर ऑफ रस्ट इज देयर ऑन दैट but just it has rust on it so definitely iron will also not get attracted by that magnet if there is a layer of ferric oxide on it if the ferric oxide layer is gone then only the jiva will the iron piece will get attracted to magnet similarly there is actually like a sevya bhagwan that sevan mukh bhagwan who is actually just attracted by seva mood only and bhagwan is just attracted by that seva mood only those who are the sevya vastu that kind of madhurja they are in that sevya that sevya bhagwan has so much karuna and mercy on us and so much anand is that this kind of realization when we will get then automatically we can actually get the madhurya and the prem of that sevan mukh the sevak or the seven mukh is just getting attracted to bhagwan automatically those that kind of attracted uh, attraction uh, towards krishna that achintya bhaktu that bhagwan the topmost attractive object is actually getting attracted by the achintya shakti by his own achintya shakti he is actually attracting us he is attracting us by his achintya shakti and he is just uh, by all those devotees he is actually attracting all the devotees towards him towards the dham and in this pathway all those are adrishta some uh, in between some in between this pathway like he is actually getting the attraction towards krishna but in between that pathway if he is that uh, that some unwanted element he is just getting attracted towards that then at that time what will happen that uh, complete by complete attraction bhagwan is taking that devotee to him but by some unwanted element in between he that some glamour and some opulence by he is seeing that and he is getting attraction towards that then then the complete uh, attractive vastu that bhagwan is there then he will definitely get lost from that propad actually used to speak all the time this way that all the bonded jeevas out and when they are in the fallen condition it is 100% sure for them they will go into fallen condition for every jiva for especially those bonded jivas their uh, fallen condition will definitely be there 100% they can fall down any time so in between the pathway when uh, this kind of uh, he is going there and he is getting feeling attraction towards some unwanted element then he is getting attraction towards that thing then the actual complete attraction object he will just get lost from that means krish from krishna there is one 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 point there is bondage and uh, and there is the very strong bondage of maya is there one time one place there is one place one very complete bondage of maya is there and uh, this maya the with this deluding energy is actually just attracting us with the lots of material things and other other way other pathway there is a attraction towards krishna it is just like a tug of tug of war there is attraction towards both the things like this if we are just getting attracted the power of that object the jeev will getting attracted he will go to that place they one place there is a, a bondage of this material world very strong attraction of this material world 
and second of all he has that uh, attraction towards krishna and in between that tathast jeev is there and he is just feeling attraction for both the things that is not at possible but when he is just he is feeling attraction for bhagwan then he is going towards that transcendental world and where the uh, jeeva is feeling attraction he will just get attracted to that point and he will be serving that point so by this uh, uh, touch uh all these five kind of enjoyments from these elements it is natural in there they will be feeling attraction for this material enjoyment what kind of touch smell every five kinds of uh, enjoyment is there uh, relating to this uh, the material jivas are definitely definitely automatically attracted to that we are just uh, getted uh, we are just getting uh, attracted by all these in all the four directions i am just a bonded jiva and by all these things if i'll just get attracted by these then definitely everything will be done so nobody will be there to just protect me that's why prabhupad ji actually speaking that all the time you just need to with full utsah fir param utsah and full patience inside you you just need to do hari katha hari kirtan under the guidance of pure guru vaishnav when you will stop that hari kar hari katha kirtan seva at that time maya will definitely uh, will come into your gaping and will just take you away from the bhajan life that's why all the time that living source under the guidance of pure guru vaishnav we just need to make sure we are doing their association that living source all the time we just need to do his association under the guidance of pure guru vaishnav we just need to do his association it's very very important apart from this there is no other pathway open for us and if we are actually we want that uh, topmost sadhu we are just hearing that uh, hari katha kirtan from the pure guru vishnu then that is the only pathway open for us that uh, all in all the four directions what we are getting this kind of uh, attraction of maya we are feeling then uh, that uh, all kinds of guna are just killing us so in order to just get protected from all this there is only just to get the sneha priti and prem of guru vishnu if we will not be getting that prema from those guru vishnu of bhagwan and if we will not be getting the topmost prema and priti and sneha of pure guru vishnu and if i am getting the nourishment from them then definitely we will not be feeling any attraction towards maya it will be very less if we are actually getting feeling towards attract attraction towards if we are not feeling any attraction towards the lotus feet of krishna then you be be sure that it is a very big problem anything can happen any time that uh, objects are two in this mati- in uh, the, where the seva are of two types so there are two categories of seva one is one is uh, maya seva that another is bhagwat seva maybe there can be different branches in that but seva is always of two type categorically one is whether he will do maya seva or otherwise you will do bhagwat seva bin between that if you will say then i will not be i will be doing maya seva also as well as i'll do bhagwan seva that is not at all possible it is not at all possible to do like that it is just like uh, just to make yourself low and you are just getting into that confusing uh, position it is not at all possible to do both the seva because it is just like just to uh, take your existing state into a low condition that you will become a mayavadi that is not at all possible but still whether you have to do maya seva or else you have to do bhagavad seva in between that you can't do both the sevas whether you have to do bhagwan seva i will not do or else i will not do maya seva i will do bhagwat seva or i will do uh, both of them i will not do it is not at all possible definitely you have to pick one of them and have to do one kind of seva so by this shloka this is a very nice shlok that bhagwan no roop gun leela everything is sukirtananu that leela etc are all is sukirtan all the time you just do kirtan of that means sukirtan means under the guidance of pure guru vishnu we just need to do sukirtan and where bhagwan will become very much happy with you that is the actual sukirtan meaning of sukirtan and bhagwan ko and just honor to satisfy bhagwan we are doing sankirtan 
under the guidance of pure guru vaishnav we are doing under shot parampara under the guidance of pure guru vaishnav we are doing sankirtan that is uh, that is sukirtan just by doing sukirtan slowly steadily where it is written that slowly steadily what will happen that in gradual gradual uh, gradual procedure just by thinking like that we have already discussed this point yesterday and uh, just like that with this kind of bhav just to live in braj and we have to give who has that anurag on bhagwan we have to just get into that anurag and all our time of this material world we just need to make sure that we are just doing giving it into krishna bhajan always we have to take uh, engagement in krishna bhajan all the time we have just have to get busy in krishna bhajan apart from this there is no other pathway open for us now actually this kind of prasang is coming in uh, in front of us in this actually very in depth discussion is there which we will be discussing that how we can just stay in braj maybe mentally or maybe physically it if it is possible we can stay okay the most important point is there that those who are actually doing raganuga bhajan who haven't understood raganuga bhajan and they haven't understand even the vidhi vidhi mark also they are not at all following and they haven't understood the actual concept of vidhi mark but still they are not at all getting established in vidhi mark how they can follow rag mark they have done nothing in vidhi mark also those who haven't done anything in vidhi mark what they can understand of rag mark it is not at all possible this is just like uh, rup goswami pad has just uh, told about braj prem that shriman mahaprabhu the whatever the actual bhav of his heart in order to just uh, get uh, Uh, think of that very carefully our shri nath ji that shri nath uh, shri nath bhagwan is not his name is shri nath chakravarti not shri nath bhagwan he is actually is a just he is actually servant he is coming in the parampara of chaitanya mahaprabhu he has written that one thing here that The Shri Nath, Shri Nath Chakravarti Pad has written this sloka that uh, our all are Godiyas, what is there? That, uh, that uh, those in Godiyah Bhajan, that is the topmost secret treasure of this Godiyah Bhajan. That Aradhya Bhagwan, our Aradhana, our actual object of worship, that is a Kantik Bhajan for us. That is the actual object for what is that object? That is Nanda Nanda and Krishna, Yashoda Nanda and Krishna. That is Swayam Roop Bhagwan for us, and is the actual Aradhana Vastu for us, object for us. That Braj Raj, Nanda Maharaj, that who is the actually Braj Yuvraj, that Nanda Nanda and Krishna is our actual worshipable object. That Vrindavan Dham, Vrindavan. dham apart from that that vrindavan does to do seva vrindavan bihari lal it is not as well possible because he is not at all going away from that vrindavan dham so in whatever condition you are you just need to do with ashwara bhav if you are going to see do seva to do the worship of nandan nandan krishna is not at all possible like if you are just serving the uh, uh, service of uh, bhagwan with opulence bhav that is not at all possible because krishna bhagwan is actually is not in there in that opulence so that opulence bhav if you are be doing that bhajan of bhagwan that is not at all possible that nanda nandan shri krishna the bhajan of nanda nandan shri krishna is uh, on the way of prem priti that's why in the chaitanya charitamrita is written in krishna bhajan there is no kind of any caste creed color whosoever is doing bhajan jat kul aadi means means there are lot of things are coming in that is not at all of caste creed and color there also not i'm talking about ashram also i'm not talking about varna and ashram also we will be going into that material bondage 
in that bondage it is not at all possible to do bhajan like this of nandan nandan shri krishna that is why it is written in chaitanya charitamrit that in order to do krishna bhajan that is the only possible thing which you need that is prem priti that is sneha prem in krishna bhajan there is only one kind of thing that is good that how much ne and how much uh, preeti prem we have for krishna that is the topmost thing apart from that whatever it is not uh, not at all important what the object it is and uh, lot of things in gopikas also there is lot of categories and uh, lot of categories are there but they have done seva of krishna bhagwan all these gopikas that in krishna bhajan only this kind of sneha it is written there that only by krishna by sneha seva only krishna seva can be possible there there are lot of things possible we need for krishna seva but only that sneha and preeti towards krishna that prem bhav is the topmost thing here actually prabhupada now speaking that uh, that all this material world whatever those who are the preachers and who are doing hari in the name of hari bhajan and hari katha they are if they are actually just uh, giving the negative direction to all these material jeevas and uh, and and this kind of will they it becomes natural for them that uh, they are actually they are getting into this fallen condition that becomes natural condition for them that's why prabhupad always used to speak a lot of time in his uh, katha and in his, in his writing he has written that bhakti vinod dhara you bhakti vinod dhara and a bhakti vinod dhara that's haji adhara what is the difference between these two that basic difference in order to understand that we just need to understand that and this kind of efforts to understand this difference that is called satsang prabhupada actually speaking that prabhupad always used to speak that uh, this uh, bhakti vinod dhara and abhakti vinod dhara in between that what is that uh, difference basic difference in between them that uh, this difference in order to in order to give efforts to understand that in that those who are actually giving efforts to understand this basic difference between them then for them this uh, by realization of this point definitely he is getting that uh, a such such sang in that and uh, if you will be doing like this then uh, in uh, uh, in the near future what will happen definitely nobody can make you foolish and you don't need to go in there the cheating preaching party and you don't need to do anything apart from hari bhajan whatever you want to do you don't need to do any kind of cheating propensities to others if you are actually getting uh, with that uh, one as with that bhakti vinod dhara and you can understand the basic difference between bhakti vinod dhara and a bhakti vinod dhara this kind of effort if you are making to understand this difference then it is called you will get the satsang then in that what will happen you will not get that vanchak dal that is called the cheater cheating preaching party you will not be getting into that cheating party in the name of raganuga bhajan and bhakti vinod uh, bhakti vinod dhara you don't need to uh, hear and understand any other things it is actually you are um, uh, out of your will that you are understanding like this but now actually the question coming here is that prabhupad ji has written ajato ruchi those sadhus who had do, who have not come on to the stage of ruchi up till now their bhakti etc all these things are there that after nishta only ruchi is possible when then opposite conditions are coming like this there this is actually against the, this condition you are going and still you are getting some attraction towards material things still you don't want to get uh, rid of that attraction that is called nishta ruchi means that is naturally attractive that natural taste towards that uh, they are getting some natural taste for some object 
यू आर गेटिंग सम नेचुरल टेस्ट दैट इज कॉल्ड रुचि रुचि मीन्स अजात रुचि इफ द सम अजात रुचि इज देयर दैट अजात रुचि साधक दैट दैट अजात रुचि साधक इन साइड हिम वॉट काइंड ऑफ अन्य ब्लास इज देयर वॉट एवर इज देयर बाय ही इज एक्चुअली मेकिंग हिज हार्ट विच इज फुल ऑफ अन्य ब्लास स्लोली एंड स्टेडली ही इज जस्ट टेक इट टेकिंग हिज हार्ट इन टू क्रम पंथा एंड इज जस्ट डूइंग लीला कीता लीला कीर्तन स्मरण स्लोली स्टेडली इज ट्रांसफॉर्मिंग इट एंड अदर अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट अदर रूचीज दैट यू हैव दैट अन्य बिलास मटीरियल थिंग्स यू हैव दिस एक्चुअली ग्रेजुअली दिस काइंड ऑफ हार्ट वन टाइम इट विल नॉट बी पॉसिबल टू डू स्लोली एंड स्टेडली इट विल जस्ट बी गेटिंग इन टू द क्रम पंथ कृष्ण राम रूप लीला कीर्तन स्मरण एक्सेट्रा ऑल दिज रूल्स ही विल बी फॉलोइंग स्लोली स्टेडली लॉट ऑफ पर्सन आर एक्चुअली मिस अंडरस्टैंडिंग दिस पॉइंट दैट दे आर अंडरस्टैंडिंग लाइक दैट इन इन ईच एंड एवरी एनी हाउ वी विल जस्ट डू लीला स्मरण बट इन ऑर्डर टू लीला स्मरण इट देर इज वन रूल्स एंड रेगुलेशन वन ग्रेजुअल प्रोसीडियर इज देयर वॉट रूप गोस्वामी पद हैज जस्ट टोल्ड अस इन हिज संदर्भ रूप गोस्वामी पद हैज टोल्ड दैट इट इज जस्ट नॉट हैपन लाइक दिस दिस इज कॉल्ड क्रम पंथा फर्स्ट एक्चुअली साधक he just need to get the krishna naam on his mouth and after the krishna naam is coming on his tongue then swayam bhagwan that roop darshan after the getting roop he will be getting gun darshan after that leela darshan will be possible slowly steadily this is gradual procedure but those sahajiyas they are actually not following it they are actually speaking that it is not required you just do leela smaran automatically it is not possible like that Shila Rup Goswami Pad has told in Sandarbh also. जीव गोस्वामी पद हैज टोल्ड अबाउट द एक्चुअल प्रोसीडियर ऑफ दैट साधन क्रम द प्रोसीडियर ऑफ साधन जीव गोस्वामी पद इज स्पीकिंग दैट इज एक्चुअली कॉल्ड साधन क्रम हाउ फर्स्ट you just go on doing hari naam with full anand and after that and slowly steadily when you are doing hari naam and inside your heart will just get clean automatically and after that your when your heart is getting cleaned and all kind of anarth is getting out of your heart and that uh, when your heart is getting cleaned for free from anarth when your heart is getting cleaned free from anarth at that point after that that you will be naam after getting slowly steadily by doing naam shravan of bhagwan that you will just be remembering the roop of bhagwan that a prakrit roop of bhagwan you will just be getting that you will ju- that you kind of uh, satisfaction you'll get in getting the right to do the रूप श्रवण और भगवान first what actually told jeev goswami was actually telling that first you just you have to do naam shravan slowly steadily when you will doing hari naam or that your inside your heart that you will get clean and all anarth will go away it means that all kind of anarth rashi will get removed automatically from your heart and after that this uh, doing naam shravan automatically slowly steadily you, when you will get your uh, antarkaran inside your heart will get clean then what will happen 
when it is free from on earth what will happen next then after that that bhagwan roop gun that roop gun of bhagwan that you will uh, be understanding and you will be just uh, remembering that and you will be just speaking that that's naam naam roop naam that is what after getting the shravan of that roop naam that you will get that right to do that after that so this naam naam the naam is actually called naam gun naam is there leela naam is naam parikra naam vishesh naam everything is the transformation of naam everything whatever is connected to bhagwan it is all naam when your heart is getting cleaned from all the anarth it means then that aprakrit swarup swarup of bhagwan that kind of uh, uh, right and that kind of condition will uh, just happen in in you you can just remember that swarup of bhagwan and when you are doing that roop shravan shravan of roop is going properly you are getting the actual swarup of bhagwan it is getting inside your heart then after that that aprakrit gunavali the actual qualities and characteristic of bhagwan will definitely get uh, Uh, imbibed inside your heart automatically that kind of qualities and characteristics automatically come in your heart and when those qualities and then good naam that actually qualities and characteristics of bhagwan naam naam gun naam parikar naam vaishishta naam everything is naam actually it is non different from bhagwan this naam when a roop is just swarup is just getting manifested inside your heart then automatically swarup of the bhagwan we are getting manifestation inside our heart after that the qualities and characteristics of bhagwan will also get uh, manifested inside your heart automatically then when the swarup act, the qualities and characteristics are getting inside our heart after that here it is written when after that you are just hearing you are getting the adhikar of qualities and characteristics of bhagwan that paraphernalia of bhagwan will automatically get manifested inside our heart that all kind of eternal parsha then paraphernalia bhagwan will just get manifested inside our heart dila parikar vaishishta everything will get manifestation automatic manifestation will be there inside our heart after that after that what happens after that what happens if uh, all these things what i have already told you previously the naam roop gun leela roop roop gun roop everything after when you will get all this after that what will happen then uh, in uh, future what will happen that uh, automatically naam roop gun leela parikar all the things all together will get manifest at a time it we are if we are getting inside the heart then after that leela smaran is possible to get that inside our heart then only leela smaran is possible roop ko swami pad what is the pathway shown by roop ko swami pad the pathway shown by shila roop ko swami pad on this pathway we will be just going of updesh amrit then what will happen at that time naam roop gun parikar everything all the time all together they will manifest inside our heart naam roop gun parikar eshu sammat spuriteshu ek saath jagat all together it will just get inside our heart it will manifest naam roop gun parikar eshu sammat spuriteshu jab sammat that with samyak pur samyak purti is getting inside our heart at that time what is leela actually then we can understand that at that point we can understand what is actually leela there is series of leela will be going on then only we can understand that it will go on 
so whatever is there now actually prabhupada actually speaking now actually prabhupada speaking that the ajata ruti shava that who hasn't come that sadak has do not come on to the stage of ruchi that he has anna vilas inside his heart slowly steadily he just need to remove that all those ajata ruchi sadak and uh, other kind of ruchi is there inside his heart then that anya vilas then he he has that anya vilas in that shunyam of anya vilas is not there this no response is coming from his heart then ajata ruchi sadak that he is actually getting uh, the ras in other ruchi what he has towards other object and slowly steadily gradually he need to remove that anya vilas from his heart by gradual procedure he need to it's not like overnight he will just be become gopi it's not like that here actually it is written that ajata ruchi sadak that he has that other kind of anya vilas ruchi is there towards other object then definitely by gradual procedure promotional procedure he just need to by that gradual procedure he just need to remove that by krishna naam roop gun leela kirtan and smaran etc he just need to get into that man, uh, manifest him so himself into that roop goswami for telling that and after that slowly steadily if he is actually not doing any kind of aparad then that jato ruchi gradually it will become jato ruchi gradually and this kind of ruchi man will be getting inside his heart that jato ruchi will get manifest inside him slowly steadily that jato ruchi slowly slowly by gradual procedure he will be getting under the guidance of brajugasi slowly and steadily he will be just getting a uh, reen over that time and all kind of roop gun leela and all the sense organs you just need to make on one platform on that transcendental platform you just need to make sure all the sense organs are there and then only that smaran etc he will just need to get manifest in that smaran all the sense organs should get uh, manifest in that smaran and when that jata ruchi you have just attained that it means that after when you are getting that ruchi uh, towards krishna then you will just need to stay in braj after that getting that brajvas under the guidance of all the brajvasi under the guidance of one brajvasi he just need to do anugama not anukaran not imitation he just need to take shelter of one of the brajvasi and after getting he will get getting jato ruchi and after getting jato ruchi inside he just need to take vas in braj he will be staying in braj after staying in braj by under under the guidance of brajvasi with full a uh, shelter of the brajwasi he just need to follow them that is actually good to follow that is called the actual uh, procedure of the bhajan in the bhajan in the life of a sadak prabhupa ji speaking in the life of sadak adau shravan the adau shravan dasha is there there is shravan dasha it means that he will be just listening every kind of things regarding krishna and he'll be just uh, maintaining that in his life and this kind of uh, shravan dasha is there and at that time that krishna naam krishna roop krishna gun leela krishna leela etc just by slowly steadily hearing that he will be just uh, placing bhagwan inside his heart but uh, you just need to first get the adau shravan dasha and in uh, future what will happen this kind of will transform into varan dasha that he has just uh, uh, taking bhagwan inside his heart when that varan dasha is coming inside the heart at that time shruto vishay it means that he is getting uh, manifested in the shrot pantha that vani is just coming in front of me that kind of shrot vishay that jeshri shrot vishay that kirtan is just started at that point when that shravan is not at all pure and there is some kind of mixing in shravan then this is not at all possible if in our shravan some kind of problem is there then it is not at all possible that is not good so in this way so that sadak in the life of a sadak that adau shrad shravan dasha is for that is very vital he is getting that at that time krishna naam krishna roop krishna leela krishna uh, slowly steadily by hearing that 
that varan dasha that he will be just getting bhavan inside his heart when that varan dasha is coming situation is coming in his heart when that varan dasha is coming inside his heart what will happen that in shut vishay what we have already heard about krishna that of according to the stot panta we are hearing then the kirtan of that thing will automatically start at that point only when you have heard from that shrot pantha only when it can it can get started when that krishna naam gun leela parikar etc slowly steadily hearing that we will just getting into that varan dasha and in, in varan this situation will be just getting that situation automatically our bhav with our own niz bhav when we will be doing kirtan according to our own bhav if we will be doing kirtan then uh, slowly steadily smaran avastha that situation of smaran will get manifest that according to your own bhav natural uh, according to your own swarup bhav if you will be just uh, doing uh, kirtan slowly steadily gradually you will see that uh, smaran avastha will just get manifest inside your heart so this kind of remembrance smaran is there that we are actually talking about smaran that shravan that shravan is actually getting manifest after that shravan there is one dharana which is there in getting inside our heart after that dharana that dharana we are getting dhyan so this is actually gradual promotional procedure what is actually told here by prabhupad smaran 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 shravan dharana dhyan then anusmriti then samadhi this four five kind of different categories this is actually the five different categories of smaran dasha that according to our own niz bhav slowly steadily when you are doing kirtan that smaran dasha is coming situation is coming and after getting that smaran dharana anupriti samadhi all these kind of five categories of five smaran are there in front of us different types first of all if any devotee is doing some efforts to do some smaran then his smaran is not at all permanent there is actually some kind of distraction in that when he is doing that kind of smaran preliminary smaran what he is doing that smaran is some some distortion there is some distraction in that that is not at all clear and permanent so this kind of a distraction and which is unclear when with unclear and distractive mood if doing we are doing some uh, shravan uh, what kind of uh, the, the mixed uh, with some unclear and distorted mood that is called smaran and without any distraction when there is no that the his smaran is all, already clear that smaran is just getting some form roop dharana that's from some form it's getting and those and those in that object and person that is my object of worship that object i just need to get that i am concentrating on that that inside my heart that object is there that dhyato vastu is going on so vikshep mit mishrit means smaran that uh, without any unclear and when there is no unclarity and there is that is clear that is called roop dharana and uh, dhyato vishe what kind of uh, topmost bhav just to remember uh, that is called dhyan and uh, without uninterrupted dhyan that is called anusmriti uninterrupted uh, focus up till this point nobody can go it is very much go, difficult to go to this situation so dhyato that what is our target vastu which we called actually that dhyato visho that whatever we are doing that object the object we are actually remembering that it is becoming more standard and stable that is called dhyan and all the time this kind of dhyan it is all the time there inside our heart that is called anusmriti that all those pure sadhus under their guidance they are actually, the pure devotees these kind have they have dhruvanus smriti that is natural in them this dhruvanus smriti is natural in them and 
that with vikshep that with unclear mind when this kind of uh, thinking is there that is called smaran and uh, without any distortion and distraction that smaran is doing he is called dharna and when we are all the time having that the focus on that particular object all the time with sarvang bhav that is called dhyan about of that particular object and all the time without any uninterrupted dhyan this dhyan is all the time there inside our heart uninterrupted dhyan is there of bhagwan it is not at all getting distracted it is pure and clear this uh, all the time when it is there inside our uh, heart this kind of that is called anusmriti that dhyan is actually not getting broken this is unbreakable dhyan and that is called anusmriti and sarvakal is anusmriti and when there is no unwanted element coming in between without any distraction and barrier continuous continuous uh, smaran sthiti that uh, top most all the time nitya permanent that kind of smriti is going on that he is not get all getting any kind of other object inside his mind but we would that dhatu vastu that particular object we are actually making a, a focus and that according to the situation in which we are actually doing that uh, dhyan in joining joiningly there is actually continuous uninterrupted uh, smaran is going on in this this kind of wishes are there actually and uh, then that smaran dasha is there in that smaran dasha actually this is not a normal thing that in kirtan whatever written this actually written there but practically in order to get that in order to just just to get that in our life it is so much difficult it the who is actually taking it he knows only that so this smaran dasha after that smaran dasha we just need to uh, accept bhagwan we just need to accept bhagwan that kind of situation is there so that kind of arrangement that apan dasha is coming in this apan dasha in this sadak actually is getting his own swarup after that smaran dasha that apan dasha is coming and in situation the sadak will just uh, find his own swarup definitely he will find his own swarup he will get his own swarup and that he get that i am nitya das of krishna and after that when he will getting the swarup that apan dasha after apan dasha when he is getting into the sampatti dasha in sampatti dasha that vastu siddhi he is getting after smaran dasha there is apan dasha in this situation the sadak is actually that he will get here to know about his nitya swarup he is just getting his nitya swarup what his nitya swarup is and after that in that sampurti dasha after when he is leaving his body he is getting the vastu siddhi in vaidhi bhakti in vaidhi bhakti the devotees are there those devotees who are in the category of vaidhi bhakti who are there doing what are what they are doing that in vaidhi marg all things you just need to understand is very if someone actually thinking that in vaidhi marg this uh, material desires and lust will be there it is not at all possible in vaidhi marg slowly steadily this situation he will get uh, up to those where the bhakt where the devotees those where the devotees it is already written in chaitanya charitamrit that oh, those who are where the devotees they are actually different kind of material desires and lust they are actually leaving that and those where the where the bhakt that they are actually just understanding the instructions of the shastra then slowly steadily they are following it and they are doing krishna bhajan in that what will happen that in this they will just get a ruchi inside their heart and after the formation of ruchi inside their heart that they will be following that vidhi dharma they are following that sadak that when after the smaran dasha that he is getting apan dasha in this situation sadak is just getting the his actual swarup 
identity of his swarup and after that in smaran dasha he is getting vastu siddhi after just leaving his body means that what kind of bhavna he has according to that bhavna in that swarup in nitya jagat he will just get into uh, that nitya jagat in that swarup so vedi marg vedi vedi marg devotees in chatana jitam it is written that someone is thinking that with vadiya when vedi marg all kind of material lust and desires are all going pralad maharaj actually is not at all rupanu bhakt but still pralad maharaj actually is paramhans they are actually some great rup goswami path has just written i'll definitely discuss it later that there are different kinds of uh, di- uh, differentiation there if it nobody if someone is not understanding then there will be a great problem for him those vedya devotees who are actually from vidhi marg those vedya devotees they are they are actually following the instruction of the shastras by following the instructions of shastra those vedya bhakta vedya vedi devotees they are actually just following the instruction of shastras and slowly slowly they are doing bhajan and they are just leaving all kind of material lust and desires from their heart and they are just uh, uh, following the instructions of the shastra according to rules and regulation of shastra they are just uh, making their life uh, running and there is no kind of material lust and desire inside their there is no kind of any material desire and uh, lust whether there is vidhi marg or rag marg vidhi marg this kind of which are is not at all is definitely come but rag marg naturally this is not at all possible nothing will stay all kind of material desires and lust in vidhi marg all those vedi devotees that those who are without following any shastra rules and regulations of the shastras no nowadays nobody can stay definitely they will be breaking the rules of the shastra but in chaitanya charitamrita it is written that vedya devotees that's vedya devotees they are actually following the rules and rules and regulations of the shastras just by following that with full nishtha they are actually removing all kind of material lust and desires from their heart and after that they are doing bhajan in this what will happen that they are getting the ruchi information of ruchi is getting inside their heart and after when ruchi is formed inside their that is natural that taste natural taste they are getting when that natural taste they are getting towards krishna's bhajan then slowly steadily automatically the devotee he will definitely uh, quit all kind of material desires and lust and he will be doing krishna bhajan when that formation of ruchi is there inside his heart when uh, ruchi is getting formed inside his heart then he will be following he will be just leaving vidhi dharma and he will be just doing raganuga krishna bhajan in chaitanya dhamta it is written like this it means that in vidhi mark previously he has done all things but when that ruchi is getting form, formed inside his heart after getting ruchi inside his heart he is actually uh, He is not actually disrespecting Vidhi Mark. Automatically, naturally, he that Vidhi Dhan will get uh, rejected. He he is actually not at all doing. Uh, it's automatically he'll just left Vidhi Mark Vidhi Dharma. He will automatically leave Vidhi Vidhi Mark, and he will just be doing that uh, Krishna Charan uh, Bhajan. So by just getting Ruchi, he is getting a, a step into the Rag Mark. so ragatmik bhakti that all those prajwasis gan krishna kaviraj goswami has written this that ragatmika bhakti is that in that ye jo ragatmika is this ragatmika bhakti is there this ragatmik bhakti this is actually we can see in prajwasi otherwise it is not at all there our guru varg they are actually prajwasi the brajwasi actually definition of brajwasi prabhupad is speaking that with all his body speech and mind with uh, he is actually serving uh, bhagwan all the time he is doing service of brajendra nandan just to satisfy his sense organs he is giving uh, all his he is not at all thinking of anything of himself he is known have any smell of uh, his own thinking of his self interest that is called brajwasi he is thinking all the time of krishna all the time all the time he is thinking of krishna satisfaction of the sense organs of krishna so that how krishna will uh, uh, find satisfaction all the kind of efforts he is doing for the satisfaction of krishna that is called brajwasi brajwasi every every person can't be 
just to stay in brajwasi braj is not at all brajwasi physically staying in braj in staying in braj vrindavan it is not at all brajwasi it, it means that every person will be brajwasi then no it's not like that no 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 it's not like that so vidhi dharm when automatically it will get rid of and that ruchi is getting formed inside your heart that man manifested inside your heart after that when ruchi is getting manifested vidhi marg that automatically will uh, get uh, removed from you from your life and automatically you will be doing uh, krishna charan bhajan lotus feet of krishna bhajan that ragatmik bhakti ragatmik bhakti you will be finding in brajwasi only that ragatmik bhakti this kind of bhakti you can only see in brajwasi gan then in brajwas is only this kind of bhakti you can find and this kind of anugatya who those people who are doing their anugatya of those brajwasis that are called raganuga that ragatmik bhakti that ragatmik bhakti those brajwasis we are just seeing that in them that ragatmik bhakti is naturally seen brajwasis only ragatmik bhakti is just seen in brajwasis naturally that uh, all kind of brajwasi jan are there inside them only this kind of ragatmik bhakti that principal ragatmik bhakti we can see basically we can see that and ragatmik devotees those who are those brajwasi is apart from brajwasi there is no one there that kind of ragatmik bhakti is not at all possible in them ragatmik those who are brajwasi that kind of bhav is there inside them that is called ragatmik bhakti and this ragatmik bhakti those who are doing that ragatmik bhakti those who are doing that ragvat those brajwasis gana there inside those who are be staying under their anugatya those who will be staying under their anugatya that is called raganuga raganuga that is called raganuga chetan ji ram ready staying now actually the question is coming here that that this raganuga bhakti what is the definition of raganuga bhakti we actually are thinking of this this kind of vichar we are actually making that ragatmika bhakti is under the guidance of brajwasi and those who are doing the anugatya of them then that is called raganuga that is called raganuga bhakti and now their definition in rasambhi sindhu in the samri sindhu definition of this is given about of rupa swami is giving that in ist vastu that that sari sari sikhi means means not dry that is one naturally that kind of uh, that that on that is to was to that kind of uh, top most avist we are getting when he is becoming uh, fully surrendered onto him in bhakti ra samrishan it is written there that is called ragatmik bhakti those who are that ragmay bhakti that ragmay bhakti which is already there in the brajwas is naturally that ragmay bhakti that ragmay bhakti which is there in the brajwas is we are just seeing that naturally naturally we can find in brajwasi this is called ragatmika that which is find naturally in the brajwas is we are find that that is called that is called ragatmik bhakti that ragmay bhakti is called ragatmika this name is called given ragatmika and after hearing that this kind of prasang according to that some some especially some special brajwasi this kind of seva that prem seva just by finding that 
inside the our heart that kind of love is coming that greediness is coming according to some special uh, brajwasi we are just having that darshan of that seva and we are finding that greediness inside our heart to serve uh, under that special brajwasi then after hearing that that uh, person who is very much uh, Uh, that lucky person is there who is just getting that greediness to get to that seva under that special brajwasi <clears throat> uh, inside his heart that kind of greediness is coming inside his heart that kind of greediness when he is getting that kind of nitya brajwasi that uh, this this nitya bhav brajwasi he is just uh, finding that inside his heart that with full greediness inside his heart that kind of bhav inside the brajwasis this kind of bhav is just getting accepted inside his heart what kind of particular bhav is there in the brajwasi he is accepting that inside his heart and he is not at all actually hearing the rules and regulations of the shastras and is in chatani chatani charitam it is written so after hearing that if that special brajwasi by following that that ex special seva of brajwasi we are just uh, <coughs> seeing that and that kind of greediness is just getting inside our heart then that uh, kind of bhava brajwasi he just need to adopt that uh, by his own thing he will, nothing will happen then then shastra yukti he is not at all uh, uh, following the shastra yukti that per- every person knows that he is not at all uh, If they know that they are not at all following rule regulation of shastra that definitely he is following raganuga he is not at all following rules and regulation of shastra he is actually just throwing shastra he disrespecting it is not like that definitely this kind of ruchi has now just been maintained inside his heart that he is getting that natural greediness inside his heart and after that greediness under the under under the anugatya of that per special brajwasi he is doing that but he is not at all disrespecting shastra he is not at all finding he is not violating the shastra naturally he just need to uh, is not at all paying attention on those rules and regulation of shastra he is not at all paying attention to that uh, rules and regulation of shastra that is called raganuga pravritti that is called actually raganuga bhajan and uh, after that about this sadhan it is written there in rasamrit sindhu it is written this kind of sadhan what is there this is there so this kind of sadhan this is of two types one is internally and externally and one is bhaya paddhati one is bhaya paddhati and other is one is bhaya paddhati and avadha paddhati prakash there are two kind of paddhati in bhaya paddhati externally the sadhak he is actually this body by his body he is doing shravan kirtan with his body externally by externally you can see that the sadhak is doing within this body he is doing shravan and kirtan all the time this is not at all uh, stopping at all and inside his heart that nitya siddh deha he is all the time realizing that his own swarup or day and night he is just uh, in braj he is doing uh, he have to do seva of krishna what do you mean by that 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 those brajwasis that all those big brajwasis those who are actually they doing seva of bhagwan from internally with this uh, seva of brajwasi bhav we just when we are getting that fixed inside our heart that uh, without uh, any our own desire that uh, i have already discussed in bengali harikatha etc all externally everything is going on shravan kirtan and inside that uh, siddh deh bhav of brajwasi is all the time day and night is going on all the time inside his heart this is the actual rules it means i have already told it is there told that it means it doesn't mean that that by our material mind we'll be just doing that no it is just by transcendental mind and body only you can just uh, uh, do krishna seva 
कृष्ण सेवा इज ओनली पॉसिबल बाय द ट्रांसकेंडेंटल बॉडी एंड बॉडी एंड माइंड दिस इज नॉट अ मटेरियल थिंग ऑफ मैटर ऑफ दिस मटेरियल वर्ल्ड दिस इज ऑलरेडी डन आफ्टर दैट इट इज रिटर्न दैट द साधक इन एनी मूड ही जस्ट नीड टू डू भजन वन जो सेवक वैन डूइंग द सेवा इन साधक रूप ही जस्ट नीड टू डू सेवा हाउ लाइक हाउ हाउ वी हैव टू डू सेवा लाइक द साधक हैज टू डू परफॉर्म द सेवा द द साधक हु इज देयर ही हैज टू परफॉर्म द सेवा ही कैन डू इन द फॉर्म ऑफ साधक एंड एंड इन सिद्ध स्वरूप एज वेल and in siddha swarup internally with his fine form and in his mind externally by his body he can do seva and with his inside his mind he is already there mentally with the on the lotus feet of yugal kishor and this kind he need to do seva both externally and internally with both siddha swarup inside and externally with shravan kirtan outside and those people that kind of greediness that person is getting uh, inside his heart that greediness has just uh, Uh, increased rapidly has got incremented rapidly day by day about some brajwasi he is liking that bhav naturally that kind of vishesh bhav if he is getting a tremendous attraction towards that if he has that kind of greediness to do bhajan on that particular type of ras what the brajwasi is has then he has to get the result of that so in this manner tad bhav it is written there that uh, at especially that particular bajwasi that bhav he just need to take and he is getting that greediness on that uh, particular bhav and he is doing a bhajan according to that particular bhav under the guidance of that particular bajwasi according to that he just need to do seva and like that he has to do seva according to in that particular ras in chatanya chitamrit also it is written nij there is one kind of wish to bhav is just getting uh, taking place in there that under the guidance of rupa ganugat i will be just doing the hari bhajan this kind of bhav is there inside his heart by this i will be doing nitya seva of krishna that uh, for just for our own satisfaction that uh, krishna prest that uh, special devotee he will be just doing anusaran doing the association of that special devotee and all the time he just need to do seva under the guidance of that special vitu devotee he has to do seva so this is the actual vichar and there are lot of vichar there in rasamrit sindhu as well that krishna just by remembering krishna and all those uh, parshad of uh, the krishna that by that particular bhav of that special sevak we are getting that uh, greediness towards that bhav particular bhav and uh, our own that it is getting inside our heart not like uh, sahajya uh, naturally automatically it is just getting inside our heart that realization just by remembering krishna's kirtan that kind of realization is coming un- under the guidance of some particular prajwasi when we are doing bhajan it naturally get manifest inside the heart and just by that he that same parshad of bhagwan like that same bhav he is just uh, doing uh, uh, get doing the anusaran of that bhav and with the full matching of that bhav with the f- that actual greediness what he is getting inside his heart for that realization of that particular bhav like this way only this kind of bhav that rati that is uh, in the braj also physically when you are just uh, present in the braj uh, it is definitely there but in physically when you are there in braj but mentally you are 
mentally also there is one uh, arrangement that our mind and heart should be there in vrindavan it means that uh, about the seva prasang of uh, uh, bhagwan that according to that particular devotee i have to become like that and i have to take his bhav and uh, what is the actual seva of those uh, special devotees it is just i need to discuss that so this kind of brajvas we need that all the kind of hari katha kirtan of bhagwan we just remember and uh, ahead what we will do we definitely can uh, take the darshan of that sachidanand vigrave of bhagwan and his leela and all the time like this he used to do brajvas and dasya sakhya vatsalya madhurya all this kind of special ras this kind of Bhag- uh, bhagwan is the uh, uh, major uh, every everything is coming from that bhagwan only all kind of ras from narayan we can not get all these kind of ras from rahade from ram Ch- ramchandra ji from narsingha dev not at all we will be getting this kind of rasa what we can exchange with krishna it is not like that So in this prasang, that what those are the, those who are devotees of Bhagwan, that according to the particular devotee we are getting his rasa, that according to that we just to do anusaran. On on the time we just need to remember that inside our heart that kind of bhava, and all the time just by remembering this kind of bhava, that we just need to follow that kind of seva. Just need to have that greediness, that have kind of. Uh, uh to get that seva so like this just uh, just by doing this kind of hari katha kirtan just go on going deep into the ocean of rasa and uh, in future what you will say that definitely your brajvas is successful and your raganuga bhakti is getting successful and in krishna bhajan the dasya etc all these kind of rasa in krishna bhajan definitely are there in krishna bhajan that the krishna das krishna friends that his own das his friends that gopi manjari is all etc they are all there et- eternally present all these eternal parshad of bhagwan some devotees are das of bhagwan some devotees are sakha like friends of bhagwan and some devotees are some we i am following they are actually i am guide i am following the guidance of nand baba and some are actually uh, following guidance of yashoda ma like this and after that santaras shantaras there is venu is there that kadamba tree is there at sector cows they are not at all doing seva on their own they are so some they will be getting them engaged in seva they can then they can do seva So this is shantaras and dasya in dasiras chitrak patrak raktak etc all those sakha sudam vasudam stok krishna all etc are they are having ras that ras vinima exchange of ras can be possible that exchange of ras can what we can get that we can exchange with them that is in raganuga bhajan it is possible with krishna otherwise with narayan it is not at all possible to exchange there were two and a half ras in that ramchandra ji also don't have that he has sakya but that too is very limited that is not that uh, topmost pure it can be sakya but not pure sakya so in krishna bhajan that dasya ras chitrak patrak raktak sak in sakya ras baldev shridam vasudam stoka krishna all these are actually are in in vatsalya ra nand yashoda etc are there and madhurasa shri lalita vishakha etc are there all brajvasis they are serving krishna that under guidance of any money we are doing bhajan and we are actually whatever related to them that kind of sankirtan etc and hari katha we just need to uh, go on hearing what will happen that definitely we will also be getting that raganuga bhakti one day Baso by this, Rupa Swami Pad has told this thing that
Like this, you just need to do bhajan. Prabhupada ji has given lot of things regarding this. Prabhupada ji has told that you see this kind of uh, this kind of bhav is there. If you are you, he is getting that greediness inside that, and if he is not getting that greediness, then everything is useless. So Bhakti Vinod Thakur is the actual instruction of Bhakti Vinod Thakur. According to that, just by following that. Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Thakur Prabhupada has told that uh, this Updesh means that this uh, Siddha Dava Kariya Bhavan, this uh, Updesh, what it is, Prabhupada speaking, that uh, Harinam, just by taking Harinam, that when you are taking Harinam, continuously, non stop, with full Ruchi, you just need to take Harinam slowly, steadily by accepting Harinam with full Ruchi. All those with full non-stop ruchi when you are doing harinam slowly steadily what kind of uh, vishay that is coming inside the manifesting inside the heart of the devotees when it is getting inside the heart of the devotees it's what manifested inside the heart of those who are actually interested in raganuga bhajan especially they are getting under the guidance of that particular brajavasi that kind of greediness is just getting inside his heart this kind of special person, special devotee, that kind of vishay is continuously, non-stop, he is doing Harinam Sankirtan under the guidance of that pure Brajavasi, particular devotee of that Braj. This kind of bhav and Swaroop will definitely get manifest inside his heart and that Swaroop will just get manifest. That is the actual Swaroop. Just by doing Harinam, what all uh, vishay special points uh, it's getting inside bhav is getting inside the heart of a particular sadhak that is called swarupe pariche that is the actual introduction to your swarup that we actually are just getting a particular bhav a particular prajivasi in, inside the heart of that sadhak it, if it is getting manifested then it is called the introduction to his swarup what is the introduction of swarup you cannot find in market yeah, and uh, by your own will you cannot get that introduction of Swarup. It is not at all possible. Just, uh, Prabhupada is speaking that when the unearth by unearth nivriti, when all unearths are gone, destroyed, automatically Swarup will definitely get manifested. When unearth is getting destroyed all, when then Swarup will definitely get manifested. And uh, when the Swarup is manifested, with that, all that... Uh, with the manifestation of Swarup, that Nitya Priti, Pratiti is all the time is getting uh, inside the heart. That eternal Anand is there. That Prabhupada speaking, that this kind, that by just uh, giving this kind of Kapat Bhav with any one, this is not at all good. Prabhupada speaking, that he is actually all the time he is, just, he is getting that uh, Nitya Swarup of his own, and automatically his uh, introduction of Swarup is given to him automatically. Nobody is actually forcefully getting that with Kapat Bhav. He is getting that ins instruction of how to get your Swarup. It is not at all possible to get the Swarup. Because with Kapat Bhav, these kinds of introduction of the Swarup cannot be given to anyone. This kind of introduction of Swarup cannot be given to anyone. And whatever the Swarup of some particular person or a particular Sadak, it is not at all possible to get the actual... Um, um, accomplishment of the swarup so there is one thing that uh, by doing non-stop harinam without any anarth and without any nishkapat without kapat bhav there is one paddhati one is that uh, nishkapat heart that non-stop harinam when he is uh, doing all the time that particular vishay or that particular thing you just need to get automatically it will get manifest inside the heart means he can just understand his actual swarup what it is that way, what is Naam, what is his Seva, what is his Adhikar, where, which village is from, which, from whom he get married, this kind of Pariche, this kind of, uh, because uh, to do Seva in Braj, when we are actually getting that Nitya Swarup, definitely I also must be having that Swarup there, what is the name of my Swarup. So this is not a thing that forcefully you will be just giving instruction to someone and someone will be giving you this kind of instruction about your Swarup. So it is not at all possible. 
that with nishkapat and non-stop harinam that all the things which are getting inside his heart automatically naturally it will this kind of things will come about his uh, swarup that uh, on to sadhu guru pad padma just by uh, praying on to the lotus feet that in my dream this kind of things are coming and just by doing harinam this kind of realization is coming he can just speak to gurudev like that hey, gurudev i just today i just do harinam and this kind of realization i've got today whether it is good said some very pure devotee this kind of bhav is you are just act- actually putting in front of that pure devotee and just getting the confirmation and if you are just speaking anywhere to any anyone that is strictly prohibited this kind of thing so this kind of uplabdi or what you have got in your dream or actually speaking to anyone everybody this is not at all good some special uh, so some special pure devotee you just need to speak to that whatever the secrecy of her bhajan in each and every place it is strictly prohibited to speak when you are speaking it is uh, then your bhajan will just get spoiled so those who are pure guru vaishnav who are at the topmost paramhans vaishnav uh, under their lotus feet you just need to whatever you get in the dream while doing hari naam whatever this kind of bhav is getting inside your heart this kind of thing you just need to speak in front of gurudev just to get the confirmation gurudev this kind of bhav actually is coming inside me is it good or not what do you think so like this 11 kinds of uh, uh, parichay is given that confirmation will be given by gurudev and 11 kinds of confirmation that swarup arrangements of swarup is given this is forcibly it is not at all done and given by someone prabhu is speaking at each and every where there is some avivek guru those who don't know their own swarup at all they are avivekya guru these are all kapat guru they are all sahajya guru they what they are doing they are actually just misguiding others and they are just inside their heart making their uh, uh, artificial swarup of the gopi that they are just making the artificial instructions regarding the swarup of their of a particular sadhak and whatever sadhak is coming to them that he is giving them the artificial gopi swarup to them that they are just uh, are giving that uh, forcibly that you are the this gopi and in this village you are staying so this is 11 kind of uh, parichay these symptoms when you are just giving it artificially to uh, to someone in this sahajya samaj that it by this is it all useless no actually this is not at a, actually arrangement of the siddhi this that like this siddhi is not at all possible those people who are getting that swarup siddhi that that kind of parichay all the time he has that swarup sid inside his heart naturally he don't need any kind of instructions from anyone apart from pure guru vaishnav those who are getting that swarup siddhi those who are getting that swarup siddhi swarup siddhi preliminary what does it mean that jivar swarup hai krishna nityadas this shloka that like parikshit maharaj that he has got swarup siddhi from hearing from sukhdev goswami so those people who are getting swarup siddhi in their life they are actually they what what all kind of 11, 11 different kind of systems of their swarup parichay is there they are getting that naturally automatically they are getting that swarup there are lot of incidents in braj like uh, siddh madhusudan das baba and uh, siddh krishn das baba about him also lot of things are there and uh, and about siddh madhusudan baba ji's mamar maharaj also it is given a lot of incident automatically they got the parichay of their swarup and uh, gurudev what will do prabhupad actually has just written on his own in his own writing that gurudev what will do that just for our increment of our bhajan gurudev just for the increment of our bhajan he will definitely help us in that definitely that is the role of guru vastu what will happen in actual that in the shastras there is a very in depth uh, discussion that what is the harmony of this point it it the main uh, uh, harmony of this point is that but those sahajyas they are doing that is abnormal it is useless totally useless what they are speaking seva sadhak that seva in सब जो श्लोक 
दिस काइंड ऑफ श्लोक देर इज एक्चुअली अ बिट ऑफ डिस्कशन आई हैव डन सो वॉट ऑल काइंड ऑफ वर्ड्स आई एम जस्ट स्पीकिंग तदभाव तदभाव लिप्सु दिस वर्ड इफ सम वन एस्पेशली ही इज एक्चुअली इन साइड इज हार्थ ही इज गेटिंग डेट ग्रीडीनेस दैट ओनली दिस काइंड ऑफ थिंग इज रिटर्न फॉर अदर यूजलेस पीपल इट इज नॉट एट ऑल टॉकिंग अबाउट अस दोज हु डोंट हैव एनी काइंड ऑफ अधिकार फॉर दैम इट इज नॉट एट ऑल इंस्ट्रक्टेड लाइक दिस सो नाउ द नेक्स्ट लोक एक्चुअली वी विल बी स्पीकिंग डिस्कसिंग इन भक्ति रामरे सिंधु इट इज रिटर्न इट इज रिटर्न भक्ति रामरे सिंधु इन आवर चैतन्य चरित अमृत ऑल्सो इट इज रिटर्न निजाभिष्ट निज अभिष्ट कृष्ण पृष्ठ आफ्टर दैट ऑल एक्चुअली इट इज इन बेंगोली दैट इन हाउ टू गेट निज निज पृष्ठ प्राप्ति Who's das? All das, sakha, pitra, di, all kind of ras are there. Different kind of ras he can attain. And what is at the what point of bhajan? That what is the topmost place of bhajan? What is the topmost place of bhajan in that uh, discussion? Who is the actual uh, topmost in the bhajan field? In this, Rup Goswami Pad has just given a comparative statement regarding to this. He is regarding to this some comparative statement Rup Goswami Pad giving. इट मीन्स दैट वैंकुठा मीन्स दैज मधुपुरी दैट भगवान श्री कृष्ण दैट इज द आविर्भाव प्लेस ऑफ भगवान श्री कृष्ण दैट इज द आविर्भाव प्लेस ऑफ भगवान श्री कृष्ण मधुपुरी दैट मथुरा मथुरापुरी वे आर एक्चुअली भगवान श्री कृष्ण हैज गिवन द बर्थ लीला हिज बर्थ लीला देयर बट हेयर एक्चुअली इज कमिंग इन द फोर फोर हैंड स्वरूप एंड आफ्टर दैट इज बिकमिंग इन टू हैंडेड दैट्स वाई मथुरापुरी दैट इज द एक्चुअली द बर्थ प्लेस ऑफ बर्थ प्लेस लीला ऑफ कृष्ण दैट इज मोर बिगर एंड मोर अपर दैन वैकुंठ and that bhagwan who is just getting birth he is not no no word of birth no place of birth there in bhagwan but still still he is getting this birth leela in front of us he is executing that and what kind of birth leela what we are just he is executing in front of us that is the topmost more than topmost than vaikunth this kind of leela what we are seeing in mathura puri that kind of manifestation of mathura leela is more and more topmost than vaikunth leela means that he it has more glorification and uh, this vaikunth that is uh, this mathura puri is definitely is uh, more uh, glorified than vaikunth and uh, from uh, mathura puri that uh, rasthali of vrindavan that at the bank of uh, yamuna that uh, that whatever the sharad ras of krishna leela at the time of uh, मून शारदीय रास एट द टाइम ऑफ पूर्णिमा दैट लॉट ऑफ प्लेस इज दैट शारदीय रास हैज बिन डन इन द शरद काल वॉट काइंड ऑफ शारदीय रास इज डन इन डिफरेंट डिफरेंट प्लेस एट द रिवर एट द बैंक ऑफ यमुना इन वृंदावन ऑल्सो इट इज डन एट नियर टू गोपेश्वर ऑल्सो एंड दैट बसंत रास हैज डन इन गोवर्धन डिफरेंट डिफरेंट प्लेस इज दैट रास वॉज डन सो दिस काइंड ऑफ that glorification of mathura what he has just done rup go swami that is more shrestha than vaikunth but from mathura puri that vrindavan dham that whatever the ras leela of shri krishna that is that place of ras leela of krishna that is more a uh, topmost than Math, uh, mathura also because infinity leela whatever the leela is there apart from apart from that whatever the infinity leela of bhagwan is there from more topmost than that leela is called ras leela and that is there krishi krishna is just doing that in vrindavan leel in vrindavan that is vrindavan is more uh, topmost than mathura and uh, vrindavan this last leela of vrindavan 
that that from Vindavan the more top most is Giriraj Govardhan because in Giriraj Govardhan lot of things are there that it is more topmost one uh, reason is then giriraj govardhan has just taken in on his palm uh, on his uh, on his nail toenail just like an umbrella when you are just taking in your hand similarly bhagwan is just taking like umbrella that govardhan on his uh, uh, index finger tip toe so that is why it is more glorified than vrindavan and uh, this govardhan and this govardhan is topmost sevak that is haridas varje the topmost sevak of bhagwan giriraj ji maharaj is infinity is infinity is doing in with full of infinite infinity he is going uh, seva of bhagwan by water by oceans by different kind of uh, ras vihar of with radharani and all the gopikas so that's why that govardhan is more topmost than vrindavan for this reason and because bhagwan has just taken it on his own hands govardhan that is why it is topmost and in this in inside that govardhan only that prabhupad has already all the spine speaking under the guidance of uh, uh, prabhupad this hey giriraj maharaj that you just give me at your lotus feet you just give me some very small place that's why what kind of uh, this is a topmost bhava but uh, that inside giriraj that radha kund is there that is the topmost more than govardhan why why it is topmost uh, that uh, uh, radha kund is there because that topmost prema is there that flood of prema just came there in radha kund that topmost flood of prema just came in uh, radha kund that's why radha kund is the topmost place that gokulpati that is the topmost uh, prema amrit the topmost nectar of prema this kind of uh, place we can find in radha kund that is why it is more topmost than govardhan and uh, who is there that who is just kind of one raganuga bhakt is there who is the, so much having this kind of bhajan who is at the at the at the bank of uh, radha kund he don't want to serve radha kund who is that sevak there is actually one very special point that like prabhupad speaking prabhupad actually speaking that uh, about in his hari katha and is in his in his writing his writing that our place is uh, not in radha kund that is a very topmost place prabhupad always used to speak with a very humble mood with a very humble mood he used to speak that radha kund is very topmost place we don't have this kind of right only bhakti no thakur and gaur kishor do baba ji can go that at a very small place at the corner of govardhan i can just stay prabhupad with a very humble mood always used to speak like this that in radha kund actually it's not our place it is topmost place we can't stay there so this kind of vichar actually those for those rasik bhakt he is actually a rasik devotee but uh, those who have just uh, uh, under the guidance of braj gopikas those who have done the anugar those who knows that secret ras of the gopikas they are not at all that who actually will want to serve that radha kund this indication is there that rup goswami pad actually speaking that uh, that radha kund who that viveki sadak is there that uh, he will be he will be who don't want to serve that shri kund shri radha kund that it means that inside everyone's heart this kind of uh, topmost bhavana is there when i will be getting that seva to for that shri radha kund it is not at all possible for everyone to get the seva only those who are maduras uh, that under the guidance of gopikas dev they will be doing bhajan only it is possible for them to get for otherwise others it is not at all possible
Bhakti Nur Thakur, Bhakti Nur Thakur Ji has just given about point upon this. Mathur Mandal, Vaikuntha Apekha Sreshto, Mathur Mandal, Vaikuntha Apekha Sreshto, Mathur Mandal, Tadapekha Vrindavan Jatha Rasasthar, Tadapekha Gordano Nitto Kelisthan, Radha Kunde, Tadapekha Premier Vikyan. Bhakti Nathakur is just speaking in these four lines about this point. What Shri Radha Kund glorification. And Saraswati Goswami Thakur also has told. In, in the Bhasya, he is written. Mathura Devi, the temple is there of Mathura Devi. told this whatever is there yeah tomorrow we will just be discussing about this point what uh, we have this kind of desire to just discuss it today we will be just uh, giving rest